Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study another aspect of technical drawing, which is oblique projection. All of this will be treating asymmetric projection, but today we'll be talking about oblique projection. The difference between oblique and isometric is that what? Isometric is inclined at an angle of what? 30 degree, while oblique is inclined at an angle of what? 45 degree and 90. Right? So what I mean is when you see the word oblique, we are trying to assemble this part here. Right? And we have to draw the word first angle projection. Right? You see this symbol here? This is in third angle. When this comes before this is in third angle. But when this comes before this is in first angle. So this is in third angle. So meaning that word, this is our plan and this word our elevation. I want to now draw this. So we, we are drawing them in oblique. So the first thing you do is to draw your inclined angle at 45 degree. Draw your inclined angle at 45 degree and this is how you do it. I'll pick up my 45 degree square square. Right? And I'll draw my 90 in this manner. Right? And I'm going to draw this 45 like this right so this is 45 degree and i'll draw the other one to be what 180 so this is how you do your oblique one part here 45 180 and what 90. now the next thing you do is we want to replicate this if you look at this very well this is this is our elevation right and this is our plan. So we are going to draw this at this junction here. So we will start by drawing. We know that from this point, the entire length from here to here is what? That is 75. So I'm 75. So you will now draw, measure your foot 75 at this, this distance here. So from here, I will measure my 75 from this point here. So this is my 75 here from this point, and that is my 25. So, after measuring that 75, the next thing is you project that point up with your faint line. So, so we take this up this way with your faint line, right? Now we'll move further. If you look at this very well now, I want to measure from here. So from here to this point here is 40, right? Out of this 75, I'm measuring 40. Look at what I'm trying to say here. From this point to this point here is 40. So I measure that 40 first. So let's do that and see. So I'm measuring the 40. I will have this. This is my 40 here. And I'm going to project it up with my faint line first. Project it up with my faint line. Now, in doing that, the next thing I'll do is to get the center of that 40. It's very important to get the center of that 40 because if you look here, it does get the center of the 40. Now, half of my 40 is 20, 20. So, I will measure half of it, which is 20. So from here to here is 20. Right? And I'll place it here. Half of my 40 is 20, 20, right? But here, I'll measure, if you look at this now, instead of 20, 20, after you measure the 40, at this point here, we have what? 26. Right? 20 what? 26. So I'm going to measure 26 from the center of 40. So let's do that. So let's get my center here. We know from here to here is 40. So you get half of 40 and it will be what? 2020. 20. This is 40. So half of 40 is 20. So this is my 20 here. Right? So I'm going to project it up a little bit. 
and this button has a, a button the same time. Now, if you look at this very well too, you discover that this edge here is what 26, right? Is what 26, so half of 26 is 13. So I'm going to measure 13 from the center, this center, this center, which is this center. So I'll measure 13, 13 to both sides. So this is my metal rule and measure 13. This is 13 here, right? And I'll place it here. I measure 13 to the left and uh, 13 to the right, right? And I'll project it up a little bit. I'll just take it up a little bit, just a little bit like that, and mm -hmm. I just point to another point here to return to. Now, if you look at here also, let me zoom it up a little bit. You discover that from here to here is ten, so I'm going to measure ten upward. So I'll do that. So if I do that, I'm going to be having that. So I measure the ten up. So you measure the 10 up, I'm going to be having this, which is 10. So from that point, we are going to join this point to this point, and you join here to here, just like what we have here. I'm joining this point to this point, and here to here, and I'm going to close the base up. Right? And I'll also close here up too. Uh, if I've done that, the next thing is I'm going to draw the height, the height from here, from this point, which is this point, to the top here is what 44. So I'm going to measure 44 upward and I'll close it up. So I'm going 44 upward, this is 44 here, so I'm going to close it up this way, and close it up to those faint line, since we're not really sure of what we're actually dealing with. Now, if you close it up, what do you notice? You project then the height of this point here, from this point. Up to this point here is what 20 22. So I'm going to measure 22. So 22 from this point 10, 11, this is 20, 21, 22. Here, yeah. all good. And I will just draw a line. So at this point, I'll have my circle. What circle? I mean, this circle here. Now what is the diameter of the circle? The diameter of the circle given there is um, the diameter of the circle is given to be 14. So the radius is 7. So I'm going to measure 7. One good thing about um, oblique is like you don't have to draw your isometric circle. So I'll just measure 7 here. 7. Seven here. So go down. I'm going to measure the seven. I'm going to have this. Now we have. So I'm going to cover it all up at that point. I'll cover it all up at that point. So from here, I have this. From here, I also have this. So in doing that, I'll close it up too. I have this. Now I'm going to project all this line to the other part. Which part? And if I'm projecting, I'm going to draw it at 45 degrees. But before doing that, what is the entire width? That is what? 
58 right so i'm going to measure 58 from here to here i measure my 58 it should be 58 here from 1 to um 58 okay 58 here and i'll take it up i take it up then i wanna just move it right here the touch here then move this to this point just yes. continue doing that so if I'm to draw my horizontal line, I'll use this. Just draw this this way. And I'll close it up. So, this is what we have. And I'll also take this in. So, and this in. This is the limit. So I'm doing that. Let's see how it goes. Now in doing that, I'll look at this. The thickness from here to here is what? Is um twelve. Look at it here. Twelve is given there. The thickness from here to here is what? is 12 right so before that at the roof we have this here and have this here but the thickness of it is 10 so i measure 10 downward here for me this you see that there's an eden line here so i will measure 10 downward so measuring my 10 downward i will have something like this this is the 10 here right and I'll use my faint line just to draw this this way and also cover here this way. Right now, if you look at on the roof, so you know what is on it is that it is 14. So I'll measure 14 from this point because this point here is this point. So I'll measure 14 here and 14 here. So let's do that. Measure 14 from here. From here to here is 14, right? And from 1 to here also is 14. And now close it up this way. And now close it up this way, right? And I measured 14 here and I drain it here, I drain it here and I close it up to this point 14 right so I'll bring them down to meet that thickness I draw earlier I'll bring it down to to meet the thickness I brought earlier and here just a little bit faint line I'll close it up. And I can easily bring this to touch it. Then I'll close it up. Close it up. Close it up. And also close it up. Then get to. Because if you watch on here also. Now this point will be coming down to meet this line. Now the key word here is this. Why I did all this thing here is if you look at the top here, you discover that um, you have these two lines run this line and this line is this line and this line right and this center here you're seeing is this center here so this is the plan looking from the top so what i'll do is if you look at this elevation here the thickness is what 12 
and we're measuring it from this point here up 12 which is this point so i'm going to measure 12 up so i have this to here is 12 right and i'll just take it in this way then it is straight here so that means at this point where it meets i'll draw my short line to touch here like this right and it says that angle of what 30 degree right so from this point i just draw a line from here with my 45 degree just a line this way right the line that is touching here and the line two is touching here and here also is touching here just faint line first so but if you look at the plan here it's telling me that it's inclined at an angle of 30 degree right so what i'll simply do is i'll use my so from this point since you say the angle is at angle what 30 degree and at this base point here so just take your compass your set square 30 like this and you mark at this point this is the point i am going to use here so from this point i will join here to here and then i'll move it up here to touch here and similarly i'm going to join from here to here since an actual measurement is not given All right so let's close it up and close it up close it up i'll close it up also i'm going to close it up too Now this is what we are having, right? We have successfully drawn this, and you can just um, move this in too, because it's going in. So I just take this one in. At five degree. That is all we have. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click on subscribe button. And don't forget to put here dimension. And before I stop, you might be told sometimes to draw into a ratio of what? 3 is to 1. Or 1 is to 2. That means half of the radius. So if you say from here to here is 26, that means you use 13. If you are told from here to here is, um, let's assume now we are told from here to here is 26. Right? So you use 13. If you are told from here to here is 40, you use 20. I told you to use 10, you use 20, you use 10, and so on and so forth. So, thanks for watching.